My dear students, welcome to Unit 4, Week 5. That extends from 24th of March till the 28th of March. We're going to start this week with an explicit, which is accessing information. We're going to access information, including researching from a variety of sources using a range of technologies, identifying primary and secondary sources. Our work role is going to include accessing information, research, primary source, secondary source, technology, database, internet, library, citation, source evaluation, reliability, bias, and credibility. You're going to watch a video about identifying primary and secondary resources. Then you will have an interactive activity related to that. Then you're going to watch a video about scavenger hunt. Then in groups, you're going to find the following. You're going to find a newspaper article. Uh, you're going to lo locate the newspaper article discussing a recent event or issue, determine whether it's primary or secondary source, and exp explain your reasoning. You're going to explore an encyclopedia entry that is related to a historical figure, event, or scientific concept. You're going to determine whether, whether it's primary or secondary and explain why. You're going to identify a book on a historical uh, event such as World War II or Civil Rights Movement, and to determine if it's primary or secondary. You're going to discover a magazine article discussing a current scientific discovery or a technological advancement, and as well, you're going to determine if it's secondary or primary. And you're going to research a biography of a famous individual. You're going to tell me, is it, is it primary or secondary? And you're going to provide examples from the text to, provide you, to uh, support your answers. A further practice, the challenging question is going to be, how might the interpretation of historical events differ when analyzing primary sources from different perspectives? And how can historians navigate these differences to construct a more comprehensive understanding of the past? You will have a self-assessment. And um, for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to search about the Day of the Dead Festival in Mexico. For lesson two, we're going to start with um, uh, formative. Part one, you're going to investigate a specific example of a cultural genre, sport, music, politics, gender, for example, and use a range for, of examples within that genre. Our word wall is going to include cultural genre, investigation, examples, diversity, representation, analysis, interpretation, significance, context, tradition, innovation, identify, expression, stereotype, and subculture. You're going to watch a video about different cultural genres, specifically music, and you will have an interactive activity related to that. You're going to explain the different traits that cultures affect our identity and society. For this, you'll investigate a specific example of cultural genres, like sport, music, politics, gender, and use a range of examples within that genre. You will need to thoroughly and explicitly investigate your chosen genre and produce a well-supported theoretical argument as a way of explanation. You will present your argument in the form of research. Ideas to consider what is the different ways culture can affect identity, how is culture expressed, explain the impact of this, culture can be visible, invisible, material, or a subculture, or multicultural, how is culture changed across time, place, and space, who is affected? Is everyone affected in the same way? Does everyone see the aspect of culture and example uh, given in the same way? This is your perspective. Then you're going to watch a video about different cultural genres. And this in this video, you're going to look about sport. You will have an interactive activity related to that, a further practice. And for the challenging question, you're going to have a link where you're going to uh, answer challenging questions, uh, self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to revise and proofread your research paper. For lesson three, this is the second part of your formative. Um, you're going to look at cultural dances this time and have an interactive activity related to that. Cultural food, an interactive activity related to that. A further practice and a challenging question that is going to be a link that you're going to explore and to answer the questions related to that, a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to prepare for your presentation. I can't wait to start this fruitful week with you guys. All the love and respect. Peace out.